There's a trend out there in evangelicalism, it's been going on for quite a while now, that says instead of preaching to the sheep, we need to be presenting our messages to the goats. Instead of the assembling of the saints hearing the word through the pastor, we should be talking instead to people who are visitors, people who have perhaps stumbled in. We think that they might be seeking, and so let's prepare the message for them. And to those people who believe that I, in a non-cage stage, non-snarky kind of way, I would simply say, Are you kidding me? You can't teach the Bible to non-believers. They will reject it. And so what does the church do in its effort to make unbelievers content with the church, it eliminates what the people of God need in a time when the sewage out of the world is drowning the people of God and they get no help from their shepherds. Ouch, that kind of hurts. The sheep who need feeding, and I gotta tell you something, I am, I'm, like, I'm like the little bird that's in our, in our we gotta, do robins come back to the same nest? Because I'm telling you, I think the same robins have come back to nest in the same tree in our house. And we love this because after a couple of weeks, the robins start to get used to us, and so we can get a little closer, a little closer, and then the chicks are born, and we get to watch them in the nest, and they're just like I am as a Christian. Ah, 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 ah. I'm like, it was a deputy dog, you know, that would, I want a treat, I want a treat. Ah, 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 ah. Feed me. I am needy as a believer. I need to hear truth every single week every single day and when my shepherd is preparing a meal for the goats the sheep don't get fed and the goats simply cannot understand the things of God why they don't have the mind of God but the one thing that you learn from preaching the gospel the Gospels is that the people never never, never responded to Christ until they were regenerated. Now remember, Jesus is the greatest teacher who ever lived, the greatest preacher who ever lived. They said about him, never a man spoke like this man. If, if anybody could pull it off with the non-believers, he could. If anybody knew the hot buttons, wow, he even said he needed not anybody to tell him what was in the heart of a man because he knew what was in the heart of a man because he was omniscient. And yet, when it was all said and done, there's a few hundred believers in Galilee and 120 believers in Jerusalem, and, and the nation rose up and executed him, murdered him. So if you think somehow that if you're clever enough you can overpower this uh, market resistance. Jesus didn't.